Hello, it's Linda here at Papercraft with Crafty and today I've got this project for you which I'm really quite excited about. Um, I was following a video tutorial um, yesterday um, by Jan B which showed how to make a shadow box card um, and I loved her method and after I'd finished I thought there was no reason why it couldn't actually be applied to make a treat box. So this is my chocolate treat box. Using the shadow box technique. Um, so this holds a nice big bar of galaxy chocolate um, and it just slides into this sleeve like so. Um, and I just think it really does make a really nice smart box. Okay now also I just thought it'd be a really nice opportunity for me to showcase these fabulous new dies which have been brought out in the new annual catalogue by Stamping Up. Um, they're not cheap, not by any stretch of the imagination. Um, they are £89. They feature here on page 193 of the new catalogue. Okay. Um, I think they're absolutely wonderful. If you do um, personalised projects, if you do personalised cards, if you do a lot of scrapbooking, I can see that these would be really useful. Um, you probably need to save up, um, maybe have them for a, a birthday treat or something. But the actual letters themselves are just a shade over two inches. OK, so they're a, a really nice, decent size. I think they are really, really quite special. Um, this is the pack. So they come packaged up like this. And I'll just get them out and um, they have every single letter of the alphabet obviously okay they've got this ampersand here which is going to be really useful we've got a question mark we've got a colon we've got an equal sign plus sign um, lots and lots of little bits and pieces within the set itself so I actually I know it's expensive um, but I do think it's a very very useful set to have if you are into paper crafting in a big way so that's the large letters framelits dies, um, new from Stamping Up. Coincidentally, they also do come with a, well, they don't come. You, you can purchase a coordinating stamp set as well. Um, you can purchase that as a bundle. Um, again, it's, it's quite costly. But I just think, you know, if you do personalised projects, then it's probably a really good investment. So anyway, I'm going to get on now and I'm going to show you how to put this little box together. So thank you for joining me today. OK, so I'm working with black cardstock and this piece of cardstock measures eight and a half inches by eleven and five eighths. And with the long side of the cardstock along the top of your scoreboard, you're going to make your first score at half an inch. Then you're going to score at one inch, one and a half inches, and at two. Then you're going to come all the way across and you're going to score at nine and five eighths of an inch, ten and one eighth of an inch, ten and five eighths of an inch and at 11 and 1 eighth of an inch. Okay, and then turn your cardstock round and with the short side here, at the top you're going to score at half an inch, one inch, one and a half inches, and two. And then you're going to come across here and you're going to score at six and a half inches, seven, seven and a half inches and eight. Now leave your cardstock here because we're going to put in a few more score lines and what you're going to do is come across here at two and a half inches and score down to this second score line here. So just score down like that and then here you want to score at six inches down to this second score line. 
Okay, so your scoring looks like that. And we're just going to flip the cardstock round and do the same at the other end. So score down to the second score line at two and a half inches, and at six inches again down to that second score line. So that is all of the scoring done. Okay, so now we're going to do some cutting. So I've got my snips here. So what we're going to do is we're going to get we're going to cut in here so all right let me do it this way with the widest part of your cardstock like that in front of you cut down here all the way in to that inside score line and do the same here and then turn your card around and do the same on the opposite side so cut down here like that and again here okay so in effect you've got that okay now what you're going to do is we're going to cut down here at these points so we're going to cut down to that second score line like that then you're going to turn your card on the diagonal and you're going to cut down there like that to that corner and then you're just going to snip there so you've got that shape and we're going to do exactly the same here so you're going to cut down this second line to the second score line flip your card and come across and cut on the diagonal to that corner there and then cut down so you've got that shape and do the same on the other side so again down to the second score line Cross on the diagonal to that corner and then just snip down and remove that. So this is now what your template looks like and we are ready to do some burnishing. So just going to take my bone folder now and just simply go around and I'm going to burnish all of these score lines. Right, so burnished all of those lines now. We're ready to do a little bit of sticking. So what you're going to do is we're going to be sticking along this outside edge here with some double-sided tape. So just oop, a bit of hair on there. You want to get as close to the edge of this piece of card as you possibly can because it will help your box go together much more accurately. And do the same on the other side. And we're also going to put some tape here on these little diagonal um, snips that we made. So I'm just going to put some here. This really is a super easy little project. It looks complicated, but it really isn't. And I just think it works really well for boxes of this type. It's nice and sturdy too. So we're just gonna start off first by sticking these long sections. So you're just going to remove your double-sided tape and hold on to it because we're gonna need it later. Okay, and then we're simply going to lie it like that and then flip it and then I'm just going to take my bone folder and do that okay and then you can see it pops up so you've got the beginning now of your box shape okay so again just fold that in remove this bit of tape and 
flip this over like so, burnish it, and again, you can see the box is now really beginning to take some shape. So now we're just going to remove these pieces, and this is the little trick that you now need. You're going to hang on to these little bits of double sided tape that you have, or the, the backing rather, and cover them. I was really taken with this project when I saw Jan's card, um, but it just gave me, oh, I can see some double-sided tape there. I just want to remove that. It just gave me the idea, you know, of using it for a chocolate box. No reason why you can't adapt sizes and things. I'm actually going to be using this to make other boxes as well, because I just really, really like the whole concept of it. So, we've got that covered. Take my paper piercer. There we go. Right, and now we're ready to rock and roll. So, all you're simply going to do is bring up your cardstock like that okay so it folds up nicely and it folds it makes a really nice sharp 90 degree angle here okay and then you're just going to pull out these bits of card and press with your finger and that seals that corner and again make sure you've got a nice angle here and then just simply pull out these bits stick down and then here again I'm just going to roll this up like so, like that, and make sure we've got a nice sharp angle there, and remove these. Okay, and there you have your basic box construction, and that's now ready to hold Bar of Galaxy. So I really think it's quite lovely, isn't it? Uh, so now just to make the sleeve. So this was my box that I made yesterday. This is the sleeve, just nice and simple. Now for this, I use this um, this paper. Well, it's, it's, it's more like card actually, but it comes with the designer series paper stack called. Oops, Called pop of pink okay so in this you've got a lovely selection of cards all double-sided um, and yesterday I chose to use this particular one um, I haven't got enough to cover another box so this time for this box I'm going to use this I think it's really bold and really pretty okay so this wrapper is seven and five eighths of an inch by um, I was going to say by two, that's rubbish. By 12. I'll just double check that. <laughs> yes, it's 12 by 7 and 5 eighths of an inch. Okay, so what you want to do, I'll just get rid of my chocolate. I'm just going to flip the box over like this. And I'm going to place it quite centrally within that piece of cardstock. And I'm just simply going to start off by doing this stand it up and I'm just going to make like a pinch there so I can see it there's my pinch and I'm going to do another one this side here and then I'm just going to bring in my scoreboard <laughs> put it the right way up as well going to place it here and where I made those pinches I'm just going to run my stylus down same with the other side okay. so. that's now 
now going to sit like that and then I'm going to bring it round like this and pinch again just here just so I can see it like that and pop it back in and I'm just going to score at that pinch mark so I'll just pop it in there and bring it down here pop that one in here and do that okay and then I'm simply going to fold it I'm not going to use my bone folder because I don't want to crack this lovely pattern on the card so that now sits around there like that and I'm just going to take the double sided tape now and um, run it along this piece here you can use Tombow, Tombow glue if you prefer so just bring that over now like so Let's marry it up quite accurately. Okay, and that's my wrapper done. Okay, and the box just slides in and out beautifully and easily. Um, it just makes it a really nice close fit. And where's my other one? So now, obviously, I want to put my yum on there. You can put whatever you like on there. Chocks, chockies whatever I like the word yum so I'm sticking with that um, I've got myself a, a little panel of black card here because I don't think the letters that I've cut out are going to show up that brilliantly on this piece of cardstock so let's just grab this Okay, so I've got my letters all ready to, to go on and for that I will use my Tombow. Okay, so there we have it. There's yum. And that's now just ready to go on my box. Okay, so I've just put some glue on the back of my piece of cardstock. And I'm just going to position it like that onto my box. And oh, whoops. There we go. A little letter came off. And that's it. That's my lovely box. I do hope that you like the tutorial. I do think that um, hope that you like these. I, th I just think they're really quite special. Um, I'm really pleased that I came across Jan, Jan B's video, which gave me the, um, the basics for what I needed to adapt and make this into a box project of my own. So thank you, Jan B. And thank you, everybody, for joining me today. I do hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. And I will be back with another one for you very shortly. Goodbye.